At Fulham Primary School, our maths lessons are broken into eight parts. In between these eight parts, the children chant, they sing and they rap numbers. The progress that I've seen since this program has started has been outstanding. The children are actively engaged in their learning through the entire lesson and they enjoy these lessons immensely. We just do it! We come straight into maths from break time. We wake up our maths brain with a five minute just do it activity. We practice skills that we already learnt. This means we never forget them. numbers. This means no learning time is wasted. Well done everyone. Just do it is over and it's time to come to the carpet. so we know what we're learning to do. This is really helpful because it helps us focus. We discuss what we need to do so to be successful in our learning. Right, let's find out what we're learning to do today. Who can read our learning goal? Joseph, can you read our learning goal? To add two digit numbers on a number line, to add a near multiple of 10 by adding and, the, and then adjusting. Who can read what we need to do to be successful in our learning today? Hannah, can you read the first one for me? We should all be able to add two digit numbers on a blank number line. We should all be able to do this. Fatou, can you read the next one please? Some of us may be able to add two digit numbers mentally. Oh, so some of us in the room are going to be working on adding mentally. And can I ask Layla to do the next one, please? We should all know the magic trick for adding a near multiple of 10. Star Wars! We learn lots of new words during the maths lesson. We call these the star words. Whisper, chant and discuss these new words. OK, so we're going to look at our star words for today. Who can read this word for me? Yes, Khaled. Partition. Everyone. Partition. 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 Who can explain what that word means? Rima. Partition means when you break up a number into hundred tens and ones. Fantastic, Rima. It's a number that's close to 10, like 9 is close to 10, and 19 is close to 20. We learn! We learn new skills and strategies. We work with objects and look at pictures to help us understand. Then we move on to the abstract. This is working with numbers. Okay, so we've got a number sentence on the board. Who can read the number sentence for me? Fine. 43 add 39 equals. Excellent. 43 add 39 equals. And what do, do my pictures show me on the board? What number have I got? Marwa? 43. Can you explain? Can you explain it to me? So you've got four tens and three ones. Fantastic. Four tens and three ones. How many more do I need to add? Rashid? Three tens and nine ones. Excellent. Should we do that? 
help me? from the carpet to practice strategies. We are constantly working out so our brains are always thinking. Okay everybody, I want you to have a go at them on the board in your work it out books. Off you go. talk partner to talk through ideas and learn from each other. This is helpful because if there is something you're finding difficult, your partner can always explain it to you. Okay, so I want you, with your partner, to discuss what these number sentences all have in common. Do you know what 67 and 19 is? No, I'm confused. 19 is the near multiple to 20. So add 20 and then take away 1. So, 67 plus 20 is 87 and take away 1, 86. Well done, you've got it. We assess our learning. how we're all getting on. I want you to think about whether you can answer a number sentence like this one by adding the nearest multiple and then adjusting. Have a think and then show me on your fan. Okay, brilliant. I can see a lot of children are ready to move on, but some children might need a little bit of extra help. Children are finding it difficult to get help from the teacher system, which will help them catch up quickly. Okay, so the 39 we put to the nearest 10, which is 40. We then put 22 on our number lines. And then we will be counting on four tens from 22. So, 32, 42, 52, 53, 62. During the lesson, we move on to working with the abstract, the numbers. Because we use objects and pictures, it helps us understand what the numbers mean. Our teacher lets us take over the lesson and become the teacher. I love standing at the front and teaching others. I get to practice using the style words and it helps me assess my learning. We move to the tables to work by ourselves, with others, or in a guided group with our teacher. 
Do you remember how we move around the room? Self-assessment is a very important part of our lesson. Hocus pocus! Everybody focus! Okay, we've come to a part of our lesson where we need to self-assess our learning. I want you to think about whether you could answer a question like this one by adding the, multi the nearest multiple of 10 and then adjusting. Have a think. Did you need help? Are you beginning to understand? Or have you got this? Can you all do your self-assessment, please? Then we come back to the carpet, chanting, of course. lesson we apply our, our learning to the real world. Putting our learning into context makes us understand why what we are learning is important. Okay so we've learned to do something new today haven't we? Um, now we have to apply what we've learned to a real life situation and there's a word problem on the board that I really want you to try and tackle. Can I ask Marwa to read it to everyone? Joseph collects marbles. He has 35 and with his pocket money, he buys a packet of 29. How many does he have now? We love Magic Maths! As an NQT, Magic Maths has really helped me to discover how important it is for children to explain their maths work. I love Magic Maths because the Just Do It activity helps me with my number facts. I love Magic Maths because when I chant, it helps me go to my tables quicker. I love Magic Maths because it really does keep the children focused. In particular, we use Just Do It. And that's an activity that we do when the children come in, they sit straight down and they get working straight away. And it focuses their mind, it gives them an activity which is usually linked to the lesson. And what it also does, it gives us a really good opportunity to do a really, really quick assessment of the lesson prior to going into the main bulk of the lesson. Just brilliant. Thank you. I, I love chanting doubles, doubles, I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles, 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 I can add doubles. It's no trouble for me to add doubles. I love magic maths, especially talk partners, because both of us are allowed to explain to each other and help each other. I love magic maths because my year one class are constantly engaged in their learning as a result of having all of their resources available on the carpet in their Magic Maths resource pouches. I like Magic Maths because it makes me learn. I love Magic Maths because it helps me to be more confident about sharing my strategies with the class. As a teaching assistant, I love Magic Maths because I have noticed that children who never used to enjoy maths or found maths tricky now love it and have grown in confidence massively. It's also a great way to assess children's learning. Um, those children who are not there yet, I can always take them out for an extra uh, misconception guided group. I like Magic Maths because you get to do Just Do It, which helps exercise your brain for the subject you're learning. I love Magic Maths because it allows the children to take ownership of their learning and it's fun and engaging. I love Magic Maths because it helps me to be more confident to share what I've learnt from to the class. I've been so impressed with the quality of outcomes in the maths lessons that I've observed. The children are all engaged and motivated. There is no time for any off-task behaviour. I've been amazed at the amount of learning that takes place in a Magic Maths lesson. Every minute is maximised. It is also a great structure for new staff and students to follow. I like Magic Maths because it helps me do more work. 